So first off with the Mavs news, they're not interested in a sign and trade for D'Angelo Russell. If Kyrie Irving was really trying to first force his way to the Lakers. And finally, the other report we've seen is that they have no plan to assist Kyrie Irving in changing teams. So what are your thoughts on the fact that, I mean, I, we've, I've said it this whole time and I remain steadfast that th they're going to be the ones re-signing Kyrie. They can offer him the most money, the best deal. It just makes the most sense for them to keep Kyrie. What are, what are your guys' thoughts? Are you guys in agreement or am I just dumb for thinking this? I mean, yeah, it's in their best interest to keep Kyrie because I don't know what else they're going to do. I don't think Kyrie and Luca work, and I think that was pretty evident in what we saw of them last year. But, yeah, I guess from a team perspective, you have them, so might as well not lose them. I mean, the Mavs need depth anyways. It's not like Kyrie's the – a needle mover. They supposedly Nico Harrison and Kyrie when the trade was done, they had a handshake agreement that Kyrie would join the team. I mean, would re-sign re with the team to a max contract. Yeah, if they're going to max him, I don't think he'll the one I leave. I think they're giving him a 3 plus 1 cuz Luca has 3 years left on his deal and I think they'll just give him a deal that's on the same timeline as Luca. I, yeah, it, so, seems it like, sounds like seems like a band-aid. Yeah, so it's gonna be Kyrie, Luca, and DeAndre Aiden in in Dallas next season. And Draymond Green. Yeah. What's up, Ryan? Is would you give I'm up LeBron in two years? If I'm if I'm the Mavs, I'm calling up the Pacers night and day and seeing what it'll take to get Miles Turner before making a deal for DeAndre Aiden. Yeah, I like Turner a lot. Um, he'll space that floor. Yeah, I, oh, wait, yeah. Aiden I or Aiden, Collins? I want Turner. Uh, if Turner's not available, Aiden or Collins? I, I'd Collins. probably go Aiden just for the height. But I do like the idea of a stretch big like KP. Um, yeah, you, you, that's just never happening. KP is not coming back. They should get Kuz and KP. Yes. <laughs> Bring them over. I actually made a video yesterday because uh, I was like, well, will Kristoff and Kyle Kuzma still be resigned? Because there's new execs in town, and supposedly Michael Winger is very aggressive. But I don't know. I, Kuzma I think would be perfect for Dallas. Kuzma would be perfect for Dallas, <laughs> but I think Kuzma stay. Now, mm -hmm. with the rest of this team, I think it's definitely going to be interesting to see with JaVale McGee, Dallas Bertans, Tim Hardaway, and the 10th pick, what they do. Can they get anything of value for those? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. No way. Maybe. So we kind of have Ricky Rubio news. You guys don't care? <laughs> I just don't really, but let's hear I want to know about Ricky Rubio. Yeah. What happened? So, Ricky Glad Rubio. didn't say breaking news about Ricky Rubio. Hey, it, it kind of is breaking news. I might. Oh, Ricky I'm on Rubio's the... breaking news anymore. Okay, he's breaking news because he banged your mom, bro. <laughs> he did. <laughs> All right, but Ricky Rubio, I am starting to consider mm -hmm. my return to Spain. Steering clear of his 12th campaign in the NBA, the experienced point guard revisited his options beyond the league this based in North America. I'm starting to consider my return on intending to move back his talents back to Europe during an appearance on La Santa, going home to Barcelona, close to home. All right. Hey, Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> you guys don't care? I'm like heartbroken. <laughs> Do whatever the hell you want, man. Okay, you guys just don't care about Ricky Rubio the way I <laughs> no, do. No, dude. That I like makes Ricky me feel Rubio. old. Makes me feel Fuck really you old. guys. We'll talk about the Raptors narrowing Rubio. down the list. 
Remember no, Rubio no, you're done. Jazz, Ricky, Ru- Ricky Rubio, Rubio doesn't Rubio. deserve. If you guys are gonna treat him this way, he doesn't deserve your guys' fucking comments. Okay, dude, that guy could have been on potential wise. Ricky Rubio like, could have been the best point guard in the league if he figured out his jump I, shot. Like potential wise, he was like uh, Tony Parker, Steve Nash. Like he was everything. He was. He was everything. If he figured out the jump shot and how to score inside. Ricky Rubio would have been the best all-around point guard of his generation. He was already arguably top three best best defensive point guard and best passing point guard. All right. You want to... That's season he had a three-point shot. What did he average? Like 15, like five, seven assists and like five rebounds and like two and a half steals. Like Ricky Rubio for the first four years of his career almost averaged three steals a night. Yeah. You want to guess his career statistics? Probably like 11 five five and two with like 39 percent from the field and like 32 <laughs> from three you got a lot of those right 11 points for 11 point what we gotta do the point 10.8 okay 10. 8 points 4.1 rebounds 7.4 assists 1.8 steals 39 from the field 32 and a half from downtown look at that shit. the seven and a half assist number is sneaky that's got to be that's he had a couple like, years where he was like nine assists. Them. He was like nine assists a few years. I remember, was, yeah, Rubio on the yeah that Phoenix year. He had nine assists. And it was like, did he average seventeen or sixteen? No, he's never averaged more than thirteen point one. First year in Utah. I remember his first year in Utah. Ricky Rubio was nice. I'm gonna make a Ricky Rubio video remember, after this. I remember Ricky Rubio in middle school. Like that's how. I remember. Man, yeah, how old I feel. I remember this dude in middle school. I had a he real. Told me he was in Spain though last year. I would book you. Yeah, this past year wasn't. He came back from the ACL injury, from injury and he wasn't that great. But supposedly the Cavaliers. This might backfire, but they've been pushing him to play with the, the Spanish national team this off season to get in better shape. Hmm. But Rubio was, two years ago on that Cavs team. 